Last night we heard that, that two uh, people were rescued from the fire uh, and taken to hospital, but we don't know anything about their condition. Uh, yeah, both uh, victims from this fire are currently in hospital. They're both listed in critical condition, uh, being treated at uh, local hospitals here in Hamilton. And, and, and do we know is that from, uh, from smoke inhalation, or can we say anything about what... what uh, uh, both of them are suffering from smoke inhalation and also burn injuries as well. Burn injuries as well. So, okay. Um, and, and we had heard that one was an adult and one was a child. Is there any other information well, about uh, their genders or their ages? No, I don't have any information. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. right. Uh, and I guess you just got started here today? Yeah, I just uh, arrived this morning uh, today. I was here last night, uh, but... Uh, uh, just a preliminary inspection of the property and uh, start my investigation this morning. So. Okay. Yeah. Nothing can too early to say anything about cause okay. or anything yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. I haven't, uh, haven't started my okay. investigation yet, so I can't uh, uh, give you an opinion on cause. And are you working in tandem with police? Or? Yeah, I'm here working with the police and the fire department, assisting them to uh, conduct this investigation into the cause of this fire. Last thing, and this may not be a question for you, is everybody allowed back in the building now uh, on all floors or is this floor kind of cleared? Or do As far as I know, the rest of the apartments on this floor are occupied. Okay. Um, there is obviously an odor of smoke in the air here and I think that will need to be addressed by uh, the owners of the building, but uh, uh, there's other people living on the floor here. The fire is contained to uh, the one apartment.